Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making a video that's a little bit different and it's something that you guys have always asked me and I've always wanted to make this video and it is to sell how are you always so happy. If you guys can tell from my videos, I'm always smiling, I'm always laughing and giggling and I'm always generally in a really good mood and you guys always ask me questions just so how do you do it? What are you on? How many cups of coffee did you have? I've noticed that I subconsciously do things and I've just been like observing myself and I've been able to put everything into words and tell you guys exactly what I do. So I'm gonna start off with the three main things that I've realized that I am always doing that I think it really contribute if you're trying to be a happier person. If you want to know my secrets, just keep on watching. <laughs> Number one, music. I am always listening to music. <laughs> When I wake up, I wake up to music. When I'm getting ready, I'm listening to music. When I'm driving, I'm listening to music. When I'm cleaning, I'm listening to music. When I'm doing homework, I'm listening to music. I listen to music with everything that I do and I really don't know what I would do without music and without songs because music just puts me in the best mood and if I'm ever feeling down, a good song just lifts up my spirits. How can you not be happy when there's songs like this? If you are not listening to music, what are you doing? This is the number one booster to just being happier and just in a better mood overall. And number two, this is something that is also very essential. All of these are very essential. And it is having something to look forward to always. And this doesn't have to be something huge. It doesn't have to be that one vacation you take a year. Something you look forward to that just when you wake up, you know it's coming up and you're excited for it. Whether it's literally like going to the movies on Friday, going out to eat with your friends this weekend, or a show that you love to watch. For me, it's like I know this weekend I'm gonna go out with my friend Bertha. Or on Friday, I'm posting a video. On Wednesdays, I have my school club meetings. Anything that puts a little like pep in your step and that you get excited for and um, try doing this weekly. Little things count and those always make a big difference. And number three, this is something that I've gotten way better at and it is do not stress over things you cannot change and this could be a test you took let's say you got a really bad grade and you can't do anything about it like the grade is set and it's done don't be angry don't be upset don't be stressed out and taking it out on everyone it's done you cannot do anything about it instead focus on okay what am I gonna do better for the next test or um, I'll give you an example for my prom dress when I got my prom dress um, I spent like $200 on that dress and we took it to the seamstress and when I got it back I was trying it on and I see the biggest hole on my prom dress like you guys I'm talking like a hole like this big like I don't know how but I think anyone at that point would have been like cursed and like what the heck just happened and literally I just remember seeing it and I'm just like because <sighs> you can't like it's it's ripped you can't do anything about it relationships friendships like this could apply to anything things you know that are out of your control and that you already tried everything you could keep calm take a deep breath and just keep on going those are the three main holy grail rules that i've noticed i live by and they really help out and now i'm going to give you guys just little tips here and there that i also do in my life that help out a lot so the first little tip i have for you is surround yourself with good people not negative people not judgmental people people who talk a lot about other people i've noticed the people that i'm very close to it's a small group of people and it's always been this way because the people in my life that are really close to me, those are amazing people that I have and they're so great and they're so kind. They're not tearing me down, they're not making me feel excluded, they're not making me feel any way that's bad about myself. And when you stick with people that have the best interest in you, it really makes a difference in just your overall mood because when you are with someone that's always very down and complaining all the time, that energy is gonna rub off onto you and that's gonna affect you and bring you down as well. So when you surround yourself with good, happy people, 
that's gonna boost your energy and you're gonna you know thrive off of other people's energy and you guys just uplift each other up those toxic people do drain you and you will see such a big difference when you just surround yourself with positive people who really care about you just like you care for them my next tip is have goals have things that you look forward to things that you want to accomplish because again it gives you purpose in life and it gives you meaning and when you accomplish those things it gives you satisfaction and it shows you that you are capable of anything that you set your mind to and then you just keep making bigger and bigger goals for yourself financial goals work goals family goals things that give you purpose when you wake up in the morning my next step to just being a happier person this one is a little bit silly but if you ever want like a boost of energy this is one that works for me is taking a shower when you take a shower and you feel super fresh and clean and you smell good again it just gives you this boost of energy for the day and another tip is wearing clothes that make you feel good make sure that when you step out of the door that you feel cute and that you feel confident because if you're wearing something that you don't really like you're gonna be out and about like oh I hope no one sees me right now I don't look that well but when you take the time to really like groom yourself and you know get ready for the day um you're gonna have that confidence to go out and and do your thing even if that means waking up a little bit earlier in the mornings if you know that taking your time like doing your makeup or doing your hair really makes you feel good then take the time to do it because it's gonna make a difference in your day my next tip is one that we sometimes forget to do and that is appreciating what you already have instead of focusing on what you don't have what you wish you had focus on what you do have whether you have an amazing family you know or a roof under your head if you're going to school like all of those things that sometimes we take for granted realizing what you do have in the in the good things in your life this next one it's one of my favorite topics and that is personal finance so this next tip is making smart money moves and I think it's very important to budget and save money and know where your money is going and when you have your finances down it's gonna give you this freedom that you never knew you needed in your life because a lot of problems come from money and if you have your finances in check it's going to avoid a lot of issues and a lot of problems you know you feel bad when you spend your money poorly that happens to me when I you know make a purchase that I'm like dang it I really didn't need this I shouldn't have done that and it makes you feel a little like crummy so, quick little shout out by the way to shop tagger which is the app I always show you guys Guys, if you want to save money, download Shop Tagger. I will have a link down below. It's just a really awesome app that helps notify you when items that you want to purchase go on sale. All of that saving money topics I love so much, and it really like it really makes a difference in your life when you know you know exactly what you have, exactly where it's going. You're not short on anything you may need. It's a good feeling. My next tip is instead of focusing on the issues you may be having right now, focus on helping someone else out. Instead of consuming myself with my own own problems and my own things help someone else out ask somebody else hey what about you what's going on with you is there anything I can help you with it's gonna make your own problems and own things seem so small and so unimportant when you're really you know using your energy to help somebody out and the last thing that I have here is having a space that you can work in I work a lot from home I need to have this room clean and organized when you have a clean nice tidy aesthetically pleasing place to do your work in, um, it's gonna make you much more motivated if you work a lot make your space personalized make it fun because that is where you spend a lot of your time so you want to make sure that it's a space that you walk in and it makes you happy not, not a room that you like dread walking into because you know it's a mess and the last thing that I wanted to mention and something that I hope you guys do not ever forget and this is it is okay to feel sad it's, even though this whole video is about ways to be happier feeling sad is completely normal there is nothing wrong with feeling sad feeling upset feeling angry those are human emotions it becomes a bad thing when you let those things consume you and you let those things affect your everyday life and the things that you need to get done even for guys out there who may be watching this video sometimes they feel shameful when they feel these type of emotions because that's just not a way that society tells men that they should be so I think it's good to remind yourself that it is completely okay to feel sad I feel sad and believe it or not I get sad I get frustrated I get angry and upset about things and that is okay just do not let it consume you don't let it you know take over your life because that's when it can become a really bad thing so you have things that you're looking forward to things that you're working on goals for yourself it gives life so much more purpose and it makes you a much happier person be someone that you know you would 
want to hang around with. I'm a big believer that the energy you give out, that's the energy you will get back. I think those are all of the tips that I have for you guys. Let me know if you want me to make similar videos like this in the future. I really enjoyed just like talking to you guys, especially about topics that are more in-depth and more personal like this. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you guys really soon.